How's it going everyone? This is my hello and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Blind. In the last video we finished uh, Disney Castle actually. In fact, I think it's completed. Well, minus collectibles, but like the story is finished judging by how the title of the place appeared at the end. But we, were, we finished up with Timeless River. So now we have the option to go to two different worlds. One of which I kind of have a guess what it is, and I might have heard about his reputation. The other is the Pirates of the Caribbean world, and that's something I'm looking forward to. That said, a new episode appeared in Olympus Coliseum, so I feel like I should probably go here first. Um, so it, so it seems like there's a new entrance in the underworld. Because it seemed like the story in the underworld wasn't finished, which makes sense because uh, Hercules is depressed after the stadium got obliterated by Hydra. So let's see what has changed then. Well, no voice acting so far. The ghost is clear! Is that the Underdome? Or Underdrome? Or whatever it is? That's the name. Hey, Orin, what's up? How you doing? How's Lord Braska? I mean, he's dead, but that's not important. Fiends of the underworld once clashed there, battle after battle. Let's just imagine that's how Orin would sound like. So, one of one person said, like, since... Well, I guess one person said, like, their interpretation is that this Orin is actually the same Orin from... Final Fantasy X, whereas all the other Final Fantasy characters are, are just like the Kingdom Hearts representations. Probably Hades. Hades is an idiot. That sounds just like him. Okay. I guess that means Hercules, right? And he's gone. Or, I pain and panic. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who it was. I assume that there are already tournaments that I can enter at the moment then. So this is just like Olympus Coliseum in the first game then. So there's something I want to check up, and that is Jiminy's journal, because I there's been a few things that I haven't really been showing off in these videos, but uh, I believe I should go over to No no no. Here. Missions. So it seems like these are like side quests that I can do. Although, didn't I already do Phil's training? And I can't do it anymore since the world, you know, the Colosseum got destroyed. But also, what is this Mushroom 13? And I guess it's telling me to like do that 100 acre wood thing again. So these are like sad quests that I can do, apparently. Would you recommend that I do them now or later? That said, I feel like I want to check up on... Uh, oh yeah, there's like a few other things I'm going to uh, show off. First of all, in Jiminy's journal, Hercules is depressed because he failed everyone. Well, not here, but like in the profile pic. And there's something else I'm going to... Sh oh yeah, the album. So there have been these albums that show off like various story moments in each respective world. So I have, I failed to show these off for the most part, but these are like the type of things I would make for good thumbnails, for example. Uh, someone pointed out that there is a very good title for the album um, in Timeless River. And it's this one, Pete and Repeat. Get it? <laughs> it was all aboard. Oh yeah, Sora driving the steamboat, right. So there's a number of album things that I can look at in each respective world in a journal. That said, is Hercules up to anything at the moment? Or is the only update to Olympus Coliseum the Underdrome? Let's see if anything has changed. I mean, this is the first time we're going to be able to explore the Olympus Coliseum after its destruction. So may as well talk with everyone here. Hi Pegasus, show us your ass. 
Pegasus nails nay sail. Sir, I can't speak. I'd fail to read every single word except for Pegasus. Okay, so nothing's going on here. You're just depressed. You're just depressed, okay? Just wait it out and don't let your inner demons take over your head. Oh, so these are the things that I can do then. Uh I'm not in the mood for that, but I kinda want to see what the underdrum is like. The thing is, I know the I know that you want me to rush into Pirates of the Caribbean, and to be, to be honest, I kind of want to as well, since I'm not too sure if I'm too excited about this, considering that if this is the same as it was in, you know, let's see if we can enter a tournament. So I assume that this is going to be no experiences gained, tournament level 25. Drive gauge cannot be used, but limits consume less MP than usual. We can try this out and see what it's like. If I'm not feeling it, I'll probably try to exit out of it. That's what I'll do. Get a higher score by collecting orbs. Oh, it's going to be based on orbs. Oh god. Oh yeah, there's... I wonder, there's like this new... That was Reflectus now, wasn't it? So I'm trying to make sure that I don't activate Comet by accident, but I got a new spell Reflect. That was Thunder, but thanks, Goofy. This music's snazzy though, I like it. So let's do Reflect, or not. Because people say, like, Reflect is going to be the spell that's broken in this game. So... Ow. I guess it didn't work too well. Revive me. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, let's give it a retry. Well, I guess it'll dump me back at the beginning, won't it? It will. It will. So I guess I have to like get used to this reflect spell. That's not what I meant to... God damn it. That's totally not what I meant to do. But hey, it's... Progress, I guess. Actually, it makes sense that we can't use a drive gauge here because uh, we're in the underworld where, as the story dictated, we can't use the drive gauge or our he uh, hero powers because this is the underworld after all. So it makes sense that uh, there's that stipulation. Nice. Dodge roll. Ow. Not nice. Like, I'll just get behind you because Donald is doing jack all. Let me just continue whacking you in the back. And that, there we go. So, they did say like orbs, but at the same time it's also just pretty much taking care of the enemies, basically. And that's what it seems like, just nothing too new, but who am I to say? Who am I to judge? Oh, Donald's dead already. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, I'm playing a dangerous game here because apparently the guys don't have potions. Am I still dying? I am. God damn it! Of course Donald healed me like right then and there. Also, it's those cars from uh, Timeless River. Oh, snap. This may not be good because I'm actually out of magic, so I want to uh, wait this out until I get my magic back because I, uh, what's recommended for those guys is actually magic. And, well, I don't have magic. Okay, it's taking a while though. Hmm. I like how this is like a remix of the battle theme in Olympus Coliseum, especially the underworld. It's like a snazzy, jazzy remix of da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. and I don't mean like that hero, Zero to Hero song, but I mean like the general battle theme for the underwear. Yes, I said underwear. Okay, cool. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. 
that's totally fine. I guess it's working, sort of. Oh god. I guess I had to do that. I guess. Come on, let me just destroy you. There we go, you're destroyed. Um, I guess I have to wait for my magic to come. You know what, screw it, I'm just gonna beat a tough man. Oh god, now you're gonna be crazy. You're invincible in this form, actually. I meant to jump there. Oh god. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Sherry. Oh, da You know, I'm not actually feeling this. I don't think I'm going to continue with this, to be honest. I know there's like some story incentive for doing this, but... It did say like level 25, so maybe I'm not ready to do it yet. After all, like Orin said like, save your friends. And also, I'll be honest, I'm not too... I was never a big fan of the tournaments in the first game. Remember how I refused, or like, well, not refused, but remember how I didn't do every single version of the tournament in the first game? Part of it came from how I just wasn't a big fan of those tournaments. But hey, I mean, they were important, so. Unfortunately, before we have to, before we can go into the pirate's world, we have to do some gummy ship stuff. Uh, let's see if... I can get like a good default gummy ship here. Hmm. Like an upgraded one compared to my high wind. Also, like I'm trying to remember like... Uh... Let's see. Now it's gonna be like the high wind level 3s and such. Is that all I have? Um... I kinda wonder if like, let's say, the Falcon is actually better than the high wind level 3. Uh, I think I might try this. Try this out. I'll try something new. Why not? Why not? Let's do something new. This may not work out well, but as long as this uh, thing is not as hard as it as the previous one was, the one that took me to Olympus Coliseum, the one with the music that's like. All right, so teeny ships. Well, they fight alongside a gummy ship while blocking... Oh, so they're like those things from the shoot 'em up games, like Gradius. Sure is Thanks, Goofy. So this is like a variant of that uh, song from that place, but a little different. Actually, the music is a little, diff little different, like entirely. Also, are you like... What's with you? Shoot the legs, I guess? Yeah, it's like those Titania- It's like those enemies from Titania in Star Fox 64. The ones- Well, except he has to like shoot the legs, but... Like... They resemble those enemies, I mean. I might just bring one up on screen to like... Show you what I mean by that. Also, what would- Oh yeah, that's the barrel roll button. Okay. It's been a while since I've done this. So, what you're seeing right now is basically how I play Star Fox 64, which is pretty much barrel roll non-stop. Because, like, there's a lot of benefits to doing the barrel roll in Star Fox 64, since it can deflect a lot of hits. Or a lot of lasers, rather. Yeah, those guys really remind me of those guys. Wow. That was an explosion. Oh, continue barrel rolling. I don't know if th this barrel roll works the same as it does in Star Fox 64, where it can deflect lasers sometimes doesn't seem to be doing that, but I still like the sensation of doing the barrel roll. Like, barrel roll, barrel roll, do a do a barrel roll, do a do a barrel roll, do a barrel roll, barrel roll, barrel roll, do a do a barrel roll, do a do a barrel roll, do a barrel roll. That's an old meme. Remember when memes were old and they were like simple and they didn't involve whoa, 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 whoa. That is such a fantastic meme. Although now it's kind of like getting old, which all memes do, since that's the nature of memes. People don't know when to stop until they get bored of it because they did it too much. That's the nature of memes. You 
don't stop until you get bored with it. And even then, it, they still persist. Like, they don't stop coming and 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 they don't stop coming. Actually, that meme kind of makes me sad because... So... You know, that weird number one meme is based off of Lazy Town, but... The guy who portrayed that uh, dude has cancer, and his cancer initially, like, um, due to the popularity of the meme, like, people were able to get uh, his operations needed for cancer treatment funded, and that was a very inspirational story. However, his cancer kind of got terminal recently, so that's just very unfortunate news, unfortunately. Come on! So, I think he's still alive, but still it's like always sad whenever you hear like sad stories about cancer. And, well, I've known a few. Oh, level, level 5, nice. I was about to say, like, it's always. Oh, nice. What did I get? Did I. I didn't get everything, but I got a good amount of stuff. Cool. Stuff that I haven't really been playing around with, but. Yeah, cancer is depressing. Uh, I've known some people who have had it and some have succeeded, some aren't with us anymore. But we must keep on fighting, and we must keep on making advances to fight this terrible disease. Anyway, let's talk less about cancer and talk more this Port Royal. Okay, that's going to be the name of the Pirates of the Caribbean place then, huh? Interesting. Well, here we go, guys. We get to meet Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley, except not really, I bet. Man, if only if Kira Knightley were Cable in the upcoming Deadpool sequel. It's Josh Brolin, so it's not her. She would have made for a good Cable, perhaps. Wow! This place is kind of different. It's based off of a live-action movie. So is this location based off of... Elizabeth? That's her name? Is this based off of Elizabeth, this, this hometown? So... So what were the names? Elizabeth, William Turner, and... Organization 13? Only one way to find out. I mean, I know Jack Sparrow, of course, but, you know, Will Turner is Orlando Bloom, and I guess Elizabeth was Kira Knightley, I guess. It's been a while since I've watched the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and even then, I've only watched the first two movies. Like, we own the DVD for uh, Com Commodore Norrington. Hmm. Nice. Was he the douchebag, by any chance, or was he the father? No, it was Elizabeth Banks, right? Was it? Or was it not? It's been a while since I've watched Pirates of the Caribbean, and like I said, like... Heart puzzle piece. How many pieces do we have now? And yeah, I do plan to uh, complete these uh, puzzle pieces once I... Or I guess I do plan on assembling the puzzle pieces together once I get all the pieces, so... Three more heart puzzle pieces to go. So, yeah. So I've only watched the first two movies. We owned a DVD for... Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 1. I mean, that's how I primarily watched it, since I never saw it in theaters. I don't know why I wasn't interested, but I never was, but it seemed cool when it was first unveiled in a trailer. And then it began... I guess it... Did it win an Oscar for technical... stuff? Like visual effects? Because those are, those were some good visual effects back in the day. But I'm sure it lost to Lord of the Rings, because Return of the King won everything it was nominated for. Hi, Pete. Aztec Treasury! Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living, nor the dead. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me! Ah, but in the moonlight... Whoa! Now I get what you were saying! Hmm... 
Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it. That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Oh man, they're playing weirder pirates, huh? Oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? <laughs> It's kind of weird. It's like we're fighting, we're interacting with realistic proportions humans. Whereas Sora is like anime cartoon based and, you know, Donald and Goofy are, you know, Disney. So, this is weird. But hey, what? It's no use. We can't beat them. I, what do you expect? Oh, right, because of their zombie powers. You best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out, they can see you. Stay away from their magic. Man. What for? Weren't you listening to me before? Hey, Pete, thanks for the tip. <laughs> magic, huh? Magic must defeat magic. Defeat the pirates. We'll try to do so with magic. There we go. That's doing a massive number on them. May as well begin... Tr trying to use this. It's lit. Fire is lit, isn't it? Hell yeah. Man, I like how they did a rendition of Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, let's do Comet. Screw it. Was it doing anything, these guys? I'm going to hope so, because it's very magical. It did. Cool. Yeah, so I guess we're doing... We're going to be dealing with Barbosa, who is awesome. Oh, not voice acted Pete. Okay. So, this game came out in, what, 2005? When did the second movie come out? Come on! Because I guess this is going to be based off of the first movie, which makes sense, because this is their first time going into the parts of the Caribbean world. Well, he is sort of already dead, so... Ooh, a pirate ship. First a steamboat. Aww. So, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, um, I've watched the first movie and I've, I've enjoyed it. Like, each time I watched it, like... The second movie was a little weird. It felt... In comparison to the first movie, the second movie had a bit less soul to it. And Jack Sparrow just seemed much less relatable in the second movie compared to the first one. Whereas in the first one, you just grew to love him. Like from the very beginning, like from the very moment you're introduced to Jack Sparrow, like you fall in love with him. But in the second movie, he's just this odd goofball. Well, not even goofball, but just odd. Like there's a barrier between you and him. So that's my impression of what's well, a dead man's chest? Yeah, Dead, man, dead Man's Chest was the second Why one, are you right? Taking me? Elizabeth! Stop! What are they? It's the right ones! Watch out! We'll deal with them. Go! Take cover! Man, it feels like I'm playing Fable or something like that because that had like realistic ish looking humans with fantasy monsters. That's. I guess that's the weird thing about this. It's like if. if this is a fantasy game based off of like cart animations and you know uh final fantasy but we have like humans basically so that's just strange nice nice oh god oh god what is this what is this oh that's death hmm not bad based on like your comments based on Bumble bumblebee's comments 
I'm all like, hmm, maybe Reflectus is one thing I should try to use often. Oh, thanks, Goofy. So it's interesting how, like, so I wonder if this is, like, I don't know what the mu music credits would be. Is, is this still going to be Yoko Shimomura, but based on Han Zimmer's works? Or, is it, or are they going to have to credit Han Zimmer's then? Or Han Zimmer then? That said, I've heard about how Hans Zimmer didn't actually write the music for Pirates of the Caribbean, and it was just some ghost writers who uh, wrote the music with Hans Zimmer's names. Hans Zimmer's... Yeah, that's what... Hans Zimmer's name, that's what I said. I mean, it happens in the movie industry sometimes, and literature industry where there's ghost writing, but... I don't like... I have this friend who basically know some people who did ghost writing for uh, Hans Zimmer so he kind of doesn't believe that Hans Zimmer doesn't deserve all the credit that he gets I suppose the counter argument would be how else would the music get written or how else would someone get their music written if there's the lack of name recognition so it's a, it's a double-edged sword because in, a, in something like in like the movie industry name recognition is a big deal to getting your foot into the door. But it also sucks for everyone who can't really get their foot in the door and they're trying to develop a career in an industry that's like kind of hostile towards newcomers because they're just new. So yeah, basically I'm just saying that it sucks to be a new person in the movie industry. Also, uh, I should probably be... Uh, oh, I don't know using my forms now that I can uh, level them up again. So I should be doing more of that. Also, what is this? Can I just break this? Yes, I can. Okay, there's a lot to explore. Wow, this is big. Hmm. This is like a small group of Heartless, so I don't think it's worth going into my forms, but I, can, I guess I wonder what I... You know, I could have used my wisdom form against those pirates. That would, would that would have been an appropriate time to uh, change into that. Duality again. I should. You know what? Let's go wisdom. I guess we can speed this up. Not bad, not bad, not bad! Oh man, I'm just floating around at the speed of sound. Got nowhere to go, gotta follow the rainbow. So that's something. What is this? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Nice, a mythal gem. And I guess my dry form is going away. That's fine. It's part of the deal. So did I full explore everything then? I believe I did. Okay, my drive form is gonna, my form is gonna go away. Yeah, I think I did a full loop, which means I can make progress. Did I already check that treasure chest? I did. Well, goodbye, wisdom form. Actually, what is this here? I thought I saw something here. No. Okay. Harbor time. Too late. Huh? Those pirates kidnapped Miss Swan and took her to their ship. Oh, her name is Swan. Now they've sailed. And I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. Hey, girl. You. What are you doing about the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. Should make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. How's it going? Take me with you. Help me hunt down the Black Pearl and save Miss Swan. I got you out of that jail cell, Sparrow. Do this, and your debt's repaid. 
You'll have to win Fair Lady's heart alone, mate. I see no profit in it for me. Come on, Captain. Are you sure you can sail her? All on your own? <laughs> You've a point there. I mean, I guess it's sort of implied in this card scene, but... Thanks, Sparrow. Captain Sparrow. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. I'm Will Turner. That will be short for William, I imagine. No doubt name for your father, eh? Yes. Well then, Mr. Turner, you get us ready to make way. I have some effects to liberate. Aye, aye. aye. But hurry. Naturally. Sora. You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. What do you make of this will? I don't know. We just met him. Uh, I think my luck's about to change. Yeah, so it's kind of implied in this cutscene, but um, what was it like? You know, I think I should switch out. Do uh, I think this is fine because I want to work on my wisdom form. Although I think my growth ability is going to be like the Naruto run. I think the Naruto run skill and crossbones. Hmm, nice. Yeah, so it's kind of implied in this cutscene, but when we're first in introduced to Jack Sparrow in the movie, we just see him on top of a ship, which is slowly sinking. And I thought that was a fantastic introduction to Jack Sparrow. Um, I'm actually going to save sailing for later, because I believe this may actually be a good point to stop the episode. As disappointing as that may sound, I guess we can talk with everyone. Barbosa. I'm just imagining how Goofy would say that name. And how about you, Donald? Yep. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Oh man. I'm just thinking of that one remix that's like super old and super viral, but man, it's such a good remix of Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum gone? Why is the 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 rum gone? I'm probably gonna be referencing a few times while we're here for good reason of course but yeah um i guess we'll set sail for the waters to save elizabeth swan not elizabeth banks she's an actress right elizabeth banks and if so i got the n wrong name i suppose heartless will appear here right let's see how uh jack sparrow fights well, with the sword, duh. Come on, get him, Jack. Come on, Jack. Thanks. Well, that's what I'm in for. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.